and welcome back to advanced power bi full course in the previous section we have already seen about this auto detect and create this is about the part of advanced pivot or you may call it as power pivot where we will be seeing now about the data modeling in order to open or create the data modeling we can do in couple of ways so for first one i'll show how we can go to the power uh, like how, how we can open that modeling part for that we can go this data and here we can see one green color icon is there that is called power pivot window so once you click on that a, another window will open opening up in the background and this is where we can get the option where we can see the diagram view and data view if we click on this calculation area uh, this bottom pane will go off if i click on this data view the data is present in a the, um, sheet kind form the, which is sim very similar to excel if i click on this bottom tab you can see one is power pivot window another one is in excel where we are uh, we were doing all this calculation so if i click on this power pivot table section here if i click once again diagram view a different window will appear where we can create all the modeling as you have seen if i click on data view once again as you can see there are two um, data sets are there one is sales another one is store that is this is the store I click calculation area it will go away and this is for sales area sales data sets so if i click on diagram view where we can do all this data modeling part in the store one if i click on this maximum maximize button it will max maximize the window or if i click it one second it will resize it to minimize and we can expand in a in a way uh, that we want or we can move it anywhere around uh, and same same thing we can do like we can expand or we can squeeze and we can uh, like we can take away at anywhere by using by clicking on this and we can drag it so this is the two tables that we have already in uh, as a data set in our model and let me go back to that uh, excel sheet where it is asking for the auto detect if we click on auto detect it will automatically create the connection between these two like uh, it will create the connection between store id from sales and store id from store it will connect both the data data sets which is not recommended and if we click on like uh, i'm going to use by manually so that is the create option if we click on uh, click on it it will ask that why which table this, this is nothing but the same which we have opened over here so let me create the connection between both the table it is very simple we can drag between two data set whichever column is common in this case both both table contains the store id which is very common that we have already seen during our data set so if i drag any one of this store id and if i drag to another one it will create a relationship here you can see it has uh, one one has written and here is one asterisk is written so this one is nothing but this is one side because this table contains only single rows of your store id so if i go back to the store one like if i go back to our data view we can see the store it should contain only single row which is correct and sales it has the repetition of all the store id so it is re repeating 10 11 12 which is repeating multiple times if i click on this diagram view so that is the explanation of this cardinality this is called uh, cardinality this is one too many relationship it has created and this one single arrow button is there uh, if we this is called relationship if we click right click on it we can uh, do it like we can use the edit relationship if we click on it 
you can see that it has created a connection based upon the store ID from sales table and store ID from the store table and that's the reason it has created a connection we can change this column as well like we can create connection between store ID and quantity column as well it will change from store ID to quantity order and we can uh, hit on ok uh, to create the connection but this is not recommended because we cannot create connection which is we can create the connection but it is not recommended because um, that will not give the correct result and it will uh, generate inappropriate result so it is always recommended whichever is uh, the common records that we can use it for the relationships more details about this i'll be coming in the uh, subsequent lecture but for time being uh, this is the connection which we have manually created that is the store id from sales and another store id from the store and that's the reason this relationship has been created so once this relationship has been created we can also delete by right clicking on any one of this area and we can click on delete so once we delete this it will disconnect both the table and if we go back over here it is the same it is the same sales for all the store like store one two and like one two and three like first store second store and third store it has all the same totals which is not correct but if we go back to our model and if we create the connection it will create the after creating the connection to solve that problem and it has calculated their corresponding stores total sum like total sales this calculation uh, it has been uh, uh, done and uh, this 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 uh, this kind of crea connection creation we have done it manually we can do uh, like as i stated we can delete this way and we can do in reverse way like we can drag this store id as well and we can connect over here either one we can do but it is smart enough to create the connection one through many relationship because power intelligence like power bi uh, intelligence is very much smart enough that it it understands that store call like store table it contains store id single times whereas in sales table store id is containing multiple times and since this table store id containing multiple times it is creating the multiple sign that is here many relationship and store id is used or repeated only single time that's the reason it has come over one let me go back to our data view and this is the store and sales is already there if i go if i go back to our power pivot uh, table where we are, we are creating all the connections so let me create another table uh, that is from employee if i bring the designation in the column part uh, it has created the connection but it is also asking for like auto detect or create so let me go back to our pivot table like um, this window or pivot power model and if we click on this diagram view as we can see this is not connected this is not connected though it it has created the connection and and the same value it has been repeated uh, this is not a proper uh, good explanation for you to understand difference between between assistant ceo or store manager because it is giving the all the same result it, uh, even if i connect both the tables that won't affect much let me create the connection store id is over here so we can create a store store id yeah this relationship cannot be created because uh, duplicate okay so it, it, it says that both the column has to uh, it's repeating so we can create over here store id from here to here and now it has created so here also it has created from one to many relationship so whichever is one time repeated like 
which is called as dimension column like this table is dimension column or uh, because it contains just uh, single time there is no repetition we i always try to keep them on top and whichever value is repeating that is called as fact table and keep i uh, keeps them uh, bottom side so that uh, it, it creates the it gives an idea that okay those are the which are the fact uh, fact table or, and which are the uh, dimension dimension columns or dimension tables so as you can see it has created but if i go back to our pivot uh, like power pivot it is creating the same which is not very much uh, visually impacting we are not able to understand the difference between let me bring another data which can uh, distinguish um, because we have dragged the de designation instead of designation i'll bring another column over here so that we can understand the difference between uh, this all, all all these columns and how that is impacting whenever we are creating the connection let me go back to our pivot uh, table model and if i click on data view here is option another option that is from other source so we can directly bring from data by going over here we can click on data and we can bring it over here as a tab or we can go straight away in our model view and from here we can click from other sources so once i click on other sources a small pop-up window will be opening and there are plenty of uh, options are there which we can use but in our case our data is present in the excel format so i'll choose the excel file and click on next here we can give a friendly connection name excel is fine for me and it's asking for browse where our uh, data is present so my data is present over here in this folder i'm going to choose any one of these let me choose the product table because that is uh, most relevant i'll click on open and here is test connection so i'll check test connection whether it is connection is successful or not it is successful i'll click on ok use first row as column header so yes in our data set already you have seen in product table we have a data set and that has the header so i'll click on checkbox and click on next here it is the file the, the the sheet name which is called product this is sometimes it creates a cache file which is nothing but for time being we can ignore this basically both are same so i'll click on this checkbox and we can use preview and filter if i click on this preview and filter here we can choose whatever products or we can choose particularly only uh, instead of all three we can choose only electronics or only foods or we can choose all three or only we can choose apple so we let's see we don't need all the three we need just um, these two we can choose that one as well or let's say we don't need all these columns we need just few of them so we can uncheck them and it if we click on it or on ok it will bring only one two three columns and in this product column it will choose only electronics and food and that will bring to our data model so in this case we don't need uh, any of this selection we need all of them so i'll check box again all of them and i'll select apparel as well and click on ok so in our case all the category and columns has been uh, selected so i'll click on ok and uh, i'll i'll click on finish and it has successful and it has the product uh, item the work item is product and that has created the connection and it has transferred so I'll cl click on close and once I do that, here you can see that our product table it has been uh, shown up. This is the product table. Now let me go back to our uh, Power Pivot, and here we can uh, click on this all, and we can close, collapse this, and let's say if we our product see our product table has been also come up over here. So instead of designation if i 
click on this product and let me bring product type if i bring the product type uh, the apparel electronics food it has a uh, comfort c as we have seen for the previous uh, designation as well it was repeating but this time it should not repeat because apparel has a different amount electronics has different amount food has different amount so let me go back to our uh, power pivot model i'll click on this diagram view and as expected it has not created the connection there is no connection between any one of these three table along with this product so let me expand a bit and uh, so let me create the connection so that this repeating repeating value will go away in this case it is also prompting that uh, we should uh, click on auto detect or create i'm not going to do any one of this because auto detect is not recommended so i'll go back over here in modeling view and in here i'll look for which are two factor or which are the two column is common between the two tables so that it could connect this product table with any one of these three tables so that it will create a loop and it will create a connection uh, between all of the four tables so uh, here is a product id and here is also you can see there is a sales table the product id is there so we can create connection between both both of them so i'll drag over here and it will it has been created one to many relationship and as i stated that uh, single time repeating value or the fact or the uh, dimension table i always keeps on them on top so i'll keep them on top and whatever the uh, fact table will be there i'll keep them down so let me resize them quickly so it has created the connection and now that problem should go away you can here as you can see it has been updated respectively to their apparel electronics and foods and with their respective store name so that's how we can eliminate all the problem and it is very much helpful where we can see that data model has created and it's eliminated the vlookup problem uh, and the it also uh, help us to uh, where there are millions of millions of records are rows are there where we can eliminate them and we can use them uh, just for uh, for uh, within a uh, by using our drag and drop in the data modeling so that's how that's how we can create the uh, data modeling uh, in the uh, power pivot and it it is one of the key feature of uh, power pivot table and it is very much helpful to create the connection between plenty of tables and it also helps to um, use the pivot table power pivot table basically on top of the normal uh, pivot table and here is one more thing i want to show that if uh, like this is only here is only four table in subsequent lecture we'll be seeing we'll be importing plenty of tables and this uh, window will be uh, full of all the tables and in that case we can create uh, like in that case we can click on this uh, fit to uh, screen so once we click on fit to screen uh it will create uh, like let me scatter this if i click on this it will uh, fit into our um, our view so that we can see all of the table in one view so it will try to fit all the table in one screen um, so uh, that's all for now if i uh, like uh, i'll come up with uh, some more in detail videos in the subsequent lectures thank you so now let's bring all the tables inside our power uh, pivot or maybe in data model so that we can connect all the tables with each other to create a suitable and perfect data model where we don't have to 
apply any view lookups or you don't have to uh, use the multiple same records in one table and the redundancy of the data will be much more less and this entire data model whatever we'll be creating that we can use as data model and that data model we can use for our business purpose and whatever queries we want to do we can get our answer from that data model so let me bring rest of like all other data sets whatever we have one by one and let's create connection with each one of them like let's create the connection between all the tables and we'll create a entire data model so i'll bring all of them and for so first uh, so already we have brought store products employee and sales i'll bring rest of the data sets for that all are present mostly all of them are in excel so i'll choose excel file i'll do the browse and let's say we have a address table customer table so i'll bring one by one let's see what are those table address customer date table employee already is there expense table payment mode product i think already we have taken and revenue versus expense sales table store table supplier table supplier transaction and transaction mode transactions all right all right these are the tables are there and i'll also explain about uh, if the two table like we can create one single table if your data is distributed into different files like let let me ex explain you briefly uh, if you see the store id 11 and 12 they having sales data inside a text format like text uh, file but if you see the store 10 it is in excel file so maybe the you have uh, three different store but somehow your system what is generating the data one system is generating the data as a excel format and the another two location is generating the data as text file so this having two different data file one is in excel format another one is text format so we can combine both the data as one single table and that also we can use as a entire data set as our in, in data model so that also i'll be explaining shortly but let me bring one by one all the data sets so i'll first choose the address table so i'll click on this so first row has header and i'll bring quickly all of them
so as you can see that this table this last table it has uh, some column one two three four is there uh, so probably this is not correct let me uh, check this let me delete this let me delete this from data model and let's do a re preview for that so i'll choose expense table first row check test connection next preview okay yeah as you can see this is for a different purpose i have made it uh, for the pivot and unpivoting purpose so this is not required so i'm canceling this So instead of that one, I'll be bringing the rest of the tables. Payment mode. Okay, I'll take this. table already I have brought it into our model so let me just expense okay this is also not in correct format so this is just for explanation purpose uh, I created but this uh, already we have seen in uh, pivot and unpivoting so this is also one of them so let me cancel this cancel. sales table i'll show this sales table is nothing but combination of both store 10 as well as which I have shown you in as a text format that is for store ID 11 and 12 that is the this table is combination of all the three store but I'll show you how we can combine two different uh, table that is present in two different format that I'll show in the last but for time being let me bring the store table This is also the same to subtract it, okay. I guess this is present in the supplement table. Supplement. Yeah, this is fine.
okay so i have brought all the tables mostly and since this is all are expanding so we can click on this uh, fit to screen so that it will bring all together and it will fit in one screen so if i click on one time it will uh, fit in our visual window now let me quickly arrange and connect them uh, basically uh, so let's say i want to bring all these uh, multiple tables all together so we can choose suppose these two i want to drag it to the down so like i can choose this this table hold on the control key from the keyboard and you can select another table and whatever the how many respective tables i want to select i can select by holding the control key from the keyboard and we can drag it wherever we want to drag them so let me keep this over here and similarly we can take the rest of the table and let's say i'll keep it keep them over here now i can zoom in by clicking on this plus button now let let me connect one by one this is for store one oh uh, this is nothing but this is a duplication of uh, these two tables both are same yeah so i'll delete one of them by right clicking click on delete and it's asking for do you want to delete from model yes i want to delete and it will go away now let's see we have supplier id and where we can connect them in supplier id There is supplier table okay this is supplier transaction so we can rename it from here itself supplier transactions hit enter and it has updated we can drag it over here So this is many connection. So we can keep it down. We keep this on top. Transaction, transaction type. Customer name. Customer ID, right? Customer ID. Let me see what are the points are there okay transaction key transaction key these two are common so we can connect them we can connect the cell date Okay, this relation cannot be created because each of the column contains duplicate values. Select at least one column that contains only unique values. Okay, so both is repeating, so we cannot do that. Okay, payment key, payment key. Let check payment keys there or not. Oops. Okay, so we can see that supplier function like in supply transaction there are plenty of other unnecessary column also it has taken so we have to remove them so we'll rebring this supply transaction so i will delete them from this model i bring in suppliers transaction Choose this and let's say these are the empty one here yeah, as we expected. So we can check everything from here and we can select by clicking each one of them, the necessary one.
and this time I'll click on OK. Now it is fine. Click on finish. Okay. And this is our nothing but suppliers actions. Okay. Supplier ID is coming. This payment key is coming. Now customer ID is there. So we can connect this to Okay, now date. Date is not required as per now, as of the moment. CT here also F5 is there, but I guess this address is also not required at this moment. So we can keep it aside, this date and address. Okay, so now our uh, all the data we have brought it. Now let's do create that new one. So I'll save this data model and uh, we'll combine that text as combining with Excel file. So for that, I'll go back to our Excel one and what I'll do, I'll click on from text present in text format so I'll print first text so as you can see that store ID 11 and 12 is there and these two data sets like for store 11 and 12 sales transaction or sales table it is present in form of text so I'll bring this data set first over here and this time I'll not bring the data set, we'll just create the connection. So using our query, we are going to create a connection with this data set. So I'll choose this and here we can click on a drop down box where we can see load to. We'll click on load to and here plenty of options are the table, pivot table report, pivot chart. I'll click on this only create connection. So I'll choose this and click on OK. And as you can see that a query and connection it has created over here, but it's not visible. If I bring so I'll off it and re on it. And you can see that sales table store 11 and 12. It, it got only connection. So it created only connection. And similar way 
I'm bring, I'll be bringing the text, uh, no, sorry, not text, <coughs> the Excel file dataset for store 10. For that, I'll click on this get data from file from workbook. And right now I'm going to bring for store 10. So I'll click on, double click on it and I'll click on this data range, data, uh, data set range and similarly we'll do click over, over here and click on load to. I'll do again the only create connection and click on OK. Now our sales table, let me rename this one. Sales for store store 10. Okay, so this is for sales for store 10, this is for sales for uh, store 11 and 12 and this is, we have just created the connection and they are for from two different data type, like two different file extension is present. Now we are going to combine these two. So that term is called append in uh, Power Pivot or uh, if you call it as in Power Query. So for that, I'll click on this data, like get data. I'll go over here, here, combine queries. And once we hover over our mouse, there is two options is there. One is merge, another one is append. Merge, I'll come later point, I'll show that. But let me show what is append. So in this case, since we are going to merge two, diff two table, but just the file extension is different, we know that they having the similar header and exactly same number of columns are there. So that's the reason we're going to um, make one top of each other. So for that, I'll click on append. And in this case, we have two different table. It's getting from two different table. One is from text, another one is from CSV. So that's the reason I have chosen the two tables. If we have a multiple tables, like more than two, that time we can we could have chosen these three or more tables. So first table we know that is in store 11 and 12 and second table is from store 10. I'll click on OK. This Power Query Editor will open and here we can give the name of the uh, the the merge table or append table. So we can create over here or we can after creating the data data table we can uh, rename them from by going into the data model. So for the time being, let me keep it as append one. And I'll go back over here, home and close and load. Now here is all the options, what are, whatever we have seen previously. Here is another option in the bottom side that add this data to data model so we can use this entire merge to one data set as a data model and for that i'll click on this checkbox and click on ok now the tab name has been created as append one and if we go back in our data model view we can see that append will be appearing over here if i go back to our excel one we we should have see all the store 10, 11 and 12. If I do a drop down, we can see the store 10, 11 and 12 is showing up. So we, are, we have successfully merged all the three store and from two different file extension. So I'll click on OK. I'll close this. I'll go back to our uh, like power pivot model and we can rename this so let me give uh, sales for store sales for all store stores okay
this table was created by a query to change this table, change the query instead. Okay, so uh, we can change it from uh, in the query itself. So for time being, let me uh, keep this table name as append one. And this is for nothing but the sales table for all our stores. Uh, so I'll push them towards right. And now I'll connect them with this product ID. So this is the table where we have seen that all the sales table that is combined and present as uh, in intact Excel format. And this is the table where we have seen that we have combined the data set from two different file extension. Now, this is not mandatory that always we can keep uh, the the, the dimension table on the top and the fact table uh, in the bottom side but it's my uh, my preference that i keep it but we can keep at any order like we can keep this of uh, this fact table on top as well as well or we can keep uh, this dimension table in the bottom as well that is that that will not impact your data model or um, the queries it is absolutely fine you can keep it as at any order but just for uh, my help helpful purpose i keep this in in this order but actually it it not create it doesn't create any impact or it doesn't create any negative impact if you keep um, either way like if you uh, keep them top or down it will not uh, impact the data model so now let me go back so our data model has been created and let me bring this to uh, our main sheet so for that we can click on this pivot table we can, now after creating all these connections and all here we can see that uh, pivot table option is there so if i click on it uh, here is asking where we can uh, create the pivot table is asking for new worksheet or existing worksheet so i want to be this to happen in new worksheet so i'll click i'll choose this and click on ok now here is the pivot table so it's not showing that uh, to bring that pivot table uh, to vis visually appear over here we'll go over here in pivot table analyze and here the right hand side you can see field list so i'll click on it it will appear over here now you can see that all the table it has uh, shown over here mm, we can change the visual pane over here so i'll keep in this way so that you can see all 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 together and these are the list of the table that we have uh, brought in our model so uh, let me create a query where we can see that product type and their total sales amount so i'll expand this sales amount and we'll bring the sales um, or let me bring the product first the product type and we want this product type along with the sales the total sales that should be value one since these two are from the two different table then also it is not impacting so let me go back to our data model and here is the connection product that product is associated with the, these two uh, but our query is from one is from product table another one is from sales table so what happened let me see the sales amount the total sum of sales amount this is uh, this is the result if i go back over here and delete this connection delete this connection it will uh, disappear the connection and if i go back over here see all the product type it got the 
same sales amount which is incorrect but if we go back over here and recreate the connection between product id and this product id now this will resolve the uh, it will create their corresponding uh, product type along with their total sum of sales so that's how we can create the data model inside our power pivot or in data model this can be accessed either through uh, power query or we can go back to data and click on this power pivot window so that's how we can create the connection between two tables and we can create the data model and we can use this data model for our query purpose for our business to solve the many business questions thank you so that's all for now if you like this video please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel till then take care bye bye and i'll see you with another new exciting video thank you bye bye